Hi everybody, this is Usha Pandit, your Mind Springs English teacher. So I'm back today with another video. I'm calling it the rainfall of fall words. One of the complications of English is that you take a simple word like fall and you realize there are so many expressions, so many uses that you wonder how can I learn all this and you can't. You need to pick it up from people who are talking in English, you need to pick it up by reading books, by listening to videos, watching movies. The good news is you don't need to really memorize these words. They'll, you'll be able to catch them from the context. So it's not as difficult as it seems. But if I tell you the words, at least you know they are there. So it's a good idea to actually watch this video several times and get familiar with the words. You may not learn all of them immediately, but you should definitely be familiar with the words. You want to have a great vocabulary? That's a book for you. Writing with ease. Go to our website or go to Amazon and pick up that book. It's a lifetime that you have with that book because it's got all the writing needs that you are ever likely to have. Let's get into the show. So, with fall, some of the expressions that you would probably have heard of will be to fall in love, which is the first one that comes to mind. Now, you wonder why should it be fall in love? Why not rise in love? There is absolutely no explanation for that. But you fall in love and that I don't have to explain. You fall in line. Sometimes you are told fall in line, which means obey, which means listen to orders, fall in line. And if you don't fall in line, then you will be dismissed. So fall in line is not really like falling in love. It's quite the opposite, isn't it? Fall in someone's eyes. You can also fall in someone's eyes. That means someone thought you were a wonderful person and then you do something that's not very good. And suddenly you fall in that person's eyes means no longer do you have the same sort of status in that person's eyes or you don't have this he doesn't have the same impression of you as he originally had you can fall into debt fall into bad company and fall into sorrow just look at the variety fall into debt fall into sorrow fall into bad company that's not good news you can fall into place which means you were not in place before and now you can fall into place, which means you've come back from the wrong road to the right road, fall in place. You can fall into the hands of someone, a document that is very, very um, sensitive, a document that is very secret can fall into the hands of someone, fall into the wrong hands. All these are expressions and if you know them, you can use them and you are very impressive. Fall outside the boundary, not just in cricket, but if you fall outside the boundary it, or the purview or the jurisdiction, all these words are possible. Fall outside means it is not your area and you have crossed those limits. That's what it means. If a policeman says it's outside your jurisdiction means you have no business to be here. Okay, so you can there are boundaries that you can fall for some reason not go but fall okay fall for a trick a ruse a story a lie you can fall for all these you can fall for a story someone comes and gives you a sob story and says i need a few thousand rupees and you feel so sorry you give it to him then you realize it's a lie so you can fall for a lie you can fall on hard times then you are in debt, you are poor and you don't know what to do next. You've lost your job. You've fallen on hard times. Fall on me. All the work fell on me. Now, you can also have work falling on you, which means nobody else to do it. And you can fall back on your savings. If you have a lot of savings, then that's great because then you don't have to starve. You can fall off a cliff, the radar, rails, map. You can fall off all these things. That means something has derailed you. You can you fell off the cliff. You fell off means you are in trouble. 
you can fall off the perch, the roof, the wagon, all of these expressions are to say that you are in trouble, simple. But when you say you fell off the roof, that sort of expression is always impressive. You can fall into a trance, a stupor or you can fall into fall asleep, you can fall into a deep sleep, you can use fall for these, you can fall into a habit, a practice, a routine. Every day if you do a certain thing over and over again, you, these are expressions. You have fallen into the practice of doing something or fallen into a routine of exercise. Some are good, some are not so good, but you always fall into them for some reason. You fall into disuse, despair, fall into decay, depression, disfavor. All of these are about falling words. You somehow fall into these areas. You do not seem to walk into them, you do not seem to go into them, you do not seem to crawl into them. You never say, I crawled into decay. You always fall into decay. You fall into error, sin, disgrace. Just look at that. Error, sin and disgrace is also falling. And sometimes you say, this book falls into two parts. The first part is positive and the second part is not falls into two parts. Now, why a book should fall into two parts? Why can't a book be divided into two parts? When we speak, we never say it is divided into two parts. We say it falls in two parts. One is this and the other one is that. A fall in temperature is very different from a fall in the index. A fall in temperature means it gets cold and a fall in the index or in numbers or in prices or in share or in economy is bad news. It means that you, your economy, your country is in trouble. There is going to be inflation, petrol prices are going to go up and you are in deep trouble of not getting enough for your families. You can say you are heading for a free fall. The Sensex is heading for a free fall which means it is going to go down so quickly. It is going to be what we call a steep fall fall over one another. If there is a sale announced somewhere for let us say clothes or shoes and they say 80% off, people are going to fall over one another to go and buy those shoes right? or those clothes or whatever it is because it is 80% off. So, you fall over one another. That is not the same as fall over backwards. Fall over backwards means to do anything to please someone. To fall over backwards is to say anything for you, I am going to do whatever you want, please let me be in your good books. To fall over backwards to do something for someone. To fall from par like politicians would hate that or to fall to bits, to fall to pieces meaning you completely lost it. You fall to bits or fall to pieces when you get some bad news. Or when something goes so horribly wrong that you fell to pieces, that means you have no control over yourself. You can fall short of cash, you can fall short of a goal, you can fall short of food. You can fall into a pit or into a well, which means you are in deep trouble again. You can fall under pressure and influence or you can fall under a spell of someone who is trying to charm you. You can fall behind a schedule or a project at your workplace and that is not good news. You can fall out with someone which means you stop talking to them. You fall out with them, you do stop talking to them, you are not friends anymore, you are cutty with those people. So, fall out or fall apart with a friend, all these are to show enmity or hostility. Fall below the poverty line, fall below standards, fall below expectations. Just look at the fall words. Did you ever think that there were so many words connected with fall? That is why I thought I should do this video. This is so interesting. And then if you tell a joke, it can fall flat. But that is not the same as to fall flat on your face. That means you were very boastful and you said, you know, things that, that uh, made you feel like a king and then you fell flat on your face means 
whatever you said did not happen or what you predicted did not happen or what you claimed you were did not come through then you fall flat on your face and so can an argument fall on its face or an idea can fall on its face fall on its face essentially means it was unsuccessful right and it was a loss so it's not just a joke that falls flat which means it's just nobody laughed but it can be more serious you can fall to misery to drink to hard times you can fall on food or money like starving dogs so people if they keep a lot of money somewhere then everyone will fall on it right and that's a falling also you can you can fall back in your business you can fall feel tiredness fall away right if you are suddenly you know you encounter something very positive then you can feel your tiredness fall away an army can fall back which means it's getting defeated you can fall about laughing you can and your complaint can fall on deaf ears which means no one is listening to you deaf ears you are complaining and that happens to us a lot isn't it we complain about many things and it falls on deaf ears meaning nobody is doing anything about it you can fall foul with your boss which means he's not happy with you you can also we also use this word when the curtains fall it could mean death and you can fall to your death by the way pride comes before a fall united we stand divided we fall once the scales fall from his eyes he will realize she is not such a hot woman once the scales fall which means once he awakens to the fact once he stops being enchanted by her wily ways he will realize the scales fall from your eyes you can fall on your knees and beg or we might say look how the mighty have fallen so once he was the king of the world and now he is on the road the mighty have fallen you can fall between the cracks which means there were two boats and you fell between which means you could neither do one job or do another one and you actually lost both you fell between the cracks you can fall asleep at the wheel which is not just driving and having an accident but fall at the, asleep at the wheel can also mean like being a captain of a ship being the head of a family being the boss in an organization or a chairman of a board any of these people falling asleep at the wheel means that you have been careless that you have taken your eyes away from your you you've stopped being focused and therefore you slept at the wheel and your company or your family suffered you can fall out of the blue fall from a height you can fall prey to habits to addiction to drugs to drink you can fall from grace biblical fall from grace is a way in which you once were in great esteem and now you have absolutely no standing you can also be a fallen angel someone you thought was so wonderful has suddenly become a fallen angel right you can wish upon a falling star the fall of a civilization fall of an empire fall of a king and the fall of man again biblical His, your eyes might fall upon a rare diamond and you might might twinkle with greed you might have a hush a silence fall upon the valley the news fell upon the family like a bolt from the blue see that is terrible fell upon the news fell upon so even news can fall on you the roof falls in your face can fall your bottoms can fall off bottom can fall off the market your bottoms can't fall off but the bottom can fall off the market and if you've read asterix they always said the sky won't fall which means what can nothing worse can happen it's not it's all going to be good and then of course you have hair fall and water fall and snow fall and rain fall and thunder fall and night fall and the fall season autumn that was a long long falling of fall wasn't it 
a rainfall of fall. So a video, a gift to you to see the absolute magnitude of the English language. You can't learn them my friends, you have to pick them up. So make sure you hear a lot, you read a lot and you are around people who speak English and it will become yours, I promise you. So till we meet again, keep smiling. Don't forget to subscribe, press that bell notification and in the comment box tell me how you like this video. See you.